The universe and our place in it has intrigued humans since the dawn of creation. This is interesting. This is the hexagon over North Pole. They have, they still don't know exactly what causes this. They have lots of speculation about what's causing it. In 1937, the Astronomy Club of Tulsa was created by a group of avid astronomers who love looking to the stars, and that tradition continues to this day, 80 years later. Besides our monthly one here at the James Planetarium, which is indoors, we have a members night once a month, we have a public night once a month, and we also have what we call sidewalk astronomy. We have that at the Bass Pro Shop in Brooklyn Arrow. And what we do is we just bring out several telescopes that you can see people gathered around here, and we t have people you know, show what we can through the telescopes. This is an Orion 10-inch Dobsonian Newtonian telescope. The reason why the moon goes through phases is because that shadow that's being cast on the moon is actually the Earth being in the way. And the line where the light and dark divide across the moon is actually called the terminator. So if you want to see something in really great detail, what you would do is move your telescope to the point where the only thing that you could see just barely off the edge would be the terminator and then you can really get a nice view of like a crater or something that's right on the surface. Really I think it comes back to when I was a kid the my parents told me that the first questions that I would ask them was about the moon and why it was up there and, and why I could see it the way I could and I've been asking questions about it and looking up ever since. I hope that in the future we have um, more young people interested in it. Um, so I hope that we get uh, people who are interested in astronomy or get interested in astronomy at a young age like I did. If you love to look up at the heavens or just want to know about our place in the universe, there's a club for you right here in Tulsa.